finding the hypotenuse. So recall that in a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse squared equals the two shorter sides squared and added together. Sorry, last one we used C for the hypotenuse. So we'll do the same. So C squared has to equal A squared plus B squared. And we can use this to find the length of the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is always the longer side and it's the one opposite the right angle. So this one here is the hypotenuse. And let's use it to find the length of a hypotenuse. So let's look at a right angle triangle with side lengths of 6 metres and 8 metres. And this was C. Remember, the hypotenuse is the longer side and the one opposite the right angle. And we, we know that the hypotenuse squared, so the hypotenuse is C, we don't know it, equals the other two sides squared and added together. So C squared, well 6 squared means 6 times 6, which is 36. 8 squared means 8 times 8, which is 64. 36 plus 64 gives us 100. Well, that tells us what C squared is, but not C. So to solve for C, we have to square root both sides, because that's the opposite of squaring something. That's how we get rid of the square and the square root. So we're left with C equals the square root of 100, which is 10 metres. So here the hypotenuse is 10 metres long. And it is longer than 6 and 8, so you, it's a good idea. It's a good, um, it's, you know you've done it correctly if at least you've got the hypotenuse being the longest side. Let's look at another example. Another right angle triangle, because remember Pythagoras only works in right angle triangles. And if this was three centimeters, six centimeters, and we wanted to find the hypotenuse, let's call it X this time. Well, with Pythagoras' theorem, we know that the hypotenuse squared equals the other two sides squared and added together. So X squared, is going to equal 3 squared, which means 3 times 3, which is 9. 6 squared, which means 6 times 6, which is 36. And we've got 9 plus 36, which is going to give us 45. And don't forget, we need to square root both sides, because we need to figure out x not x squared, and the square and the square root will cancel out. So x equals the square root of 45, well, it's not a nice number, but we can put in the calculator to round it to a decimal place, which gives us 6.7 centimetres to one decimal place.